Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? This is Mr. Batch. I'm glad you clicked in so I can check in with you. That's right, it's Football Friday. And let me start by with HGH testing. That's right, Congress has invited uh, the commissioner and the union head to Capitol Hill to discuss the, the implementation of HGH testing. Now, if this is to happen, and once it will happen, the NFL will be the first professional sports franchise I mean entity, first professional sports entity to test for H, excuse me, HGH. Why is that so important? Because that was collectively bargained in this latest agreement with the NFL Players Association and the NFL. So they have had some questions about uh, the validity of the testing, how it's done and stuff like that, which is, you know, which is understood because there's been a couple of, uh, you know, ripples in the pond or some controversy dealing with the uh, International Anti-Doping Agency, which does the HGH testing for a lot of, like for the Olympic committees and the international amateur uh, circuit around the world. So hopefully that they'll get that done and out of the way. Now, as for the Jets, hey, Jets guys, y'all got to get it together. Y'all took a tough loss to the Raiders last week on the West Coast. Joan Namath is, is, is talking about you. Uh, it's got it in all the papers. So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I believe that that's going to be uh, good enough motivation because on one of the back pages, Rex Ryan said, hey, you know, Joe Namath can come out and uh, try out and be our third string quarterback. But hey, Joe Namath has the ring already, son. He's got a ring. Hello. Hello. Courtesy and your dad was on the coaching staff when he got that ring. Show your respect. But besides that, you know, that's a little fun right there. I like Rex Ryan. He's, he's a player's coach. The, guy, the, the players believe in him, and they play hard for him all the time. It's just sometimes you get out-schemed, out-played, and outwitted sometimes, and that's what happened. They got gouged on the ground, and I think that that's a blueprint that other teams are going to do. But for the time being, I just want the Jets, whenever they play the NFC East, to knock them people off. Knock them off. Get them out the way. <laughs> that's right. I love the Jets. So as we move right along into some, you know, I had to get today's paper, you know, and um, all righty then, what do we got here? What do we got here? You know, I'm not even gonna mess with it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about some games real quick. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. I know it's a Friday. It's a football Friday. Jets at the Ravens, 8:20, Channel Four. <coughs> Ravens three and a half. Um, you know something? I'm taking the Jets. I don't think the Ravens uh, will cover. Okay, Giants at the Cardinals. All right, 4 p.m. Channel 5. All right, uh, Cardinals are favored by one and a half. I got the Giants to more than cover. All right, Lions at the Cowboys, 1 p.m. Cowboys by one and a half at home. Cowboys in trouble. The Lions are for real. They're going to get them. Broncos at the Packers, 415. Packers by 13. Oh, come on. Stop it, Broncos. You done. Packers by 13. Oh, my goodness. It's going to get ugly out there. And then they'll be screaming some more for Tim Tebow. But uh, they got my man who's in front of him. And uh, I think he'll, he, he should get the nod before Tebow. But Tebow wins. That's the thing. You know, you, you want to change somebody's mechanics. Oh, he doesn't look right doing this. But his whole life, all the time, he was he was winning. And when he was down in Florida, which plays in the SEC, he was winning. Come on. The SEC is almost like the minor leagues for, for professional football, as, as tough as they are. Okay, let's get to a couple of other games, more games. Bills at the Bengals. Wow. Bills at the Bengals. Bills by three. Got the Bills. The way that they're shocking and amazing the world right about now. 49ers at the Eagles. 1 p.m. Eagles by eight and a half. Oh, no. It's going to get ugly. They're going to try and take it out on the 49ers. After getting beat down, if the Eagles are smart, they'll let Vic sit for this one. Kafka and Young can handle the 49ers. Vikings at the Chiefs. <coughs> Uh-oh. Things don't look too good here. Now the Vikings are at the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs had two dramatic injuries in back-to-back -back weeks of key starters for them. The Vikings are over coming into this game. <coughs> Vikings by one at the Chiefs. One and a half at the Chiefs. Yeah, I take the Vikings in the points. All right, Dolphins at the Bolts. Oh, man. Yo, this is the swan song for Chan Haney and Sperano. I got the Bolts. 
right? The Chargers are getting seven and a half. All right. Saints at the Jaguars. All right. Ooh. Oh, man. Saints by seven of the Jags. I got the Saints, man. Forget that. Colts at the Buccaneers. Yo, it's, it's, yo, this is the Andrew Luck sweepstakes between the Colts and the Vikings here. Yeah. And the Colts are going to take it on the chin against the Bucks. The Bucks are getting 10. Oh, man, if Manning was in there, that wouldn't happen. Well, that's uh, Mr. Batch's picks on a football Friday, NFL edition. And I'm out of here like I stole something. Peace.